Hey everybody, Carl here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Porsche script door handles on your Mark II Golf, GTI, Jetta, Passat, anything that uses this door handle because it's all the same and it's pretty pretty quick and easy to switch all over to uh, get the fancy OEM Plus Porsche door handle which also don't break as often I don't believe. They're still pretty crappy like the regular ones but they're a little bit better. Um, plus it gives you all the scene points with the uh, Porsche logo on it. So let's get started. All right, so top one is the Porsche handle. It's got the nice uh, Porsche script for all the scene points. This one is one of my donor handles. It's just a cheap, uh, cheap handle that I got off of uh, probably Rock Auto or something. I think they even sent me the wrong side, so it's just, just been sitting around. So, few initial differences. The Porsche uses a rod to actually actuate the uh, door lock, or no, handle, not handle, the bear claw. And then this is its mechanism for the door lock. The Mark II door lock uses that which flips a lever inside the handle. Oh, that's funny. It's so cheap. So, don't forget to switch out your lock cylinder from your car as long as it works. Because that's... That's funny. So anyway, pretty much what we're going to have to do is... Uh, Convert this, you know, remove all this stuff. So first thing, let's get the uh, lock mechanisms off. I'm not gonna use this mechanism on this one. Got a little spring under it. You should push out your lock cylinder. So now that's your key code, basically. So do whatever with that, I'm not gonna use that one. Mainly what I'm harvesting out of this one gonna be this lever. So there's a pin knockout on each of them. So I'm gonna knock them out. Alright now I'm gonna carefully knock out this rivet and I'm gonna Push it out from this side. I've got aluminum jaws on my vise and then a rag to keep it from marring up the surface of the exterior of the handle. So, a little more, a little different punch. I know it's a spring-loaded punch, but it worked. Now I should be able to grab on that rivet. The roll pin, I mean. Pull this roll pin out. Save that. And then this should come out. A little persuasion. So your whole mechanism. Now that's off. Now we're going to check make sure this fits in the door because the other differences are Mark II screws in, and then these just clip and slot in. So I don't know if I need to do anything to retain that. So now I have everything off, I can check all that. Yes, this is uh, the passenger side for a US car, and this is a driver's side door handle, but I just want to make sure it's gonna work. I don't have to do anything too crazy to get it to work. Okay. 
appears we're just a little too wide here, so we'll uh, file that down and see if that works. So the next part of this that I was fighting with is uh, the tumbler itself. So this one, the Porsche one, when you insert it all the way, the tab actually sticks up pretty far, and then it's able to engage the lock. And I was trying to figure out why this one wouldn't go, but then I was like, you know, starting to grind stuff, and it looked like it's uh, the depth of that needs to come down. So I was like looking at it, I'm like, why don't I just switch over all these tumblers and use this lock cylinder with these keys in it, because it's all the same, I believe. So I'm gonna pull one out, check it, and then swap them over. Uh, a little dead low Euro uh, swag uh, placement too. So, you'll see how this goes in the, yeah, let's try it. All right, I've de schmooed the lock cylinder, put my uh, pins in there, and then with any luck, I'm going to get this the right way. There's a little tab that needs to go down. You know, hold. Well, I might have to play with a different combination because it might be the difference of the, of the... Yeah, I think I just need a little bit. I forgot to hit record, so uh, yeah. Little nub doodads on, seems like it works, doesn't bind. Put the gasket on, I'm gonna go check it on the car seat, make sure it actually opens the door. And then it mounts with the same factory screw on the back. that far. Now I need to put the uh, actual piece that activates the lock and then put it back in. Maybe uh, repaint it because it's got that wear spot up there. And then paint the paint the actual trigger part too. But yeah. Not bad. Alright, now for the lock. It's a matter of spring. that guy. So the ring goes a little, a little something like that, I believe. And this goes right there. When it turns, it wants to turn to center. And then just one of these Phillips head screws. Let's do Yep. Now for finally set final assembly. There. Good stuff. So that is it, that is installed. The door still works as it did before, but I'm plus at least 10 seam points now. Once you get the other side done, it'll be at least 20 or 40, who knows. Maybe I need to put more stickers on, definitely need more lows. So yeah, if you wanna see me uh, continue on this pile of crap to make it actually something half decent, then uh, hit that subscribe button. 